and we are back hey what is up youtube it is trouble productions coming back at you guys again today with another video in today's video i'm going to be doing my 2020 lego sealed set collection now this is not nearly all my sets i just couldn't fit them all on this table so we're going to touch on this first half here um and then when we finish that we're going to touch on the other half i got over here so stay tuned for the second half this is just some of the good stuff so first set we got here is a 2008 Magna Guide Star Friday. Um, I'll talk about each set a little bit, but I got this for $45 um, recently. Then we have a Z95 Headhunter. I found a toy dessert. Then we have a Z95 Headhunter. I found a Canadian Tire uh, two years ago now, I think. So that was a great find for the time. We move back here. We have a Sealed Slave 1 from the 2020 Prime Day sale. And then we have a Sealed Imperial TIE Fighter. I got Walmart for like 20 or 30% off. Not that big of savings. We have the Imperial Landing Craft, which I got from Toys R Us last Black Friday for 50% off. And below that there, we just have the Jack 14's Starfighter, which I got for $80 this summer. So that was a great find for $80 seal. Then behind that, we have the at Imperial AT Hauler. I just got this recently from Best Buy because it was retired and that was the best price I could find for it. It was like 30% off, so not too bad. Moving up here, we have the Gungan Sub. It's a European box, but I got this for $80. And the Queen Amidala minifig alone is probably worth that, so this was a great pickup. Then we have the Republic Striker Class Starfighter. I got this for $9 last uh, November, so that was insane. I got that off eBay. And below that, we just have an X-Wing Starfighter. I got this for $19 on sale at Walmart. That was in a past vlog, so you can go check that out on my channel. Moving behind that, we have an Anakin and Sebulba's Proud Racer from 2011. I got this for $39. I also got that with the eBay find with the Republic Striker Class Starfighter. That was crazy. Then we have the Jedi Starfighter with Hyperdriver and got that as a Christmas gift and I just never built it since, so I'll probably stay sealed. Then up here we have a Naboo Starfighter from 2011. Um, this I got for $50, so that was a great fine it was shipped and everything for fifty dollars so that was great below that we have the y-wing from 2017 i got this on clearance for about 40 percent off which was not that bad for the time and i wanted the sealed so that's a great pickup then below that we have another y-wing this is a resist y-wing i recently got for 56 percent off off amazon that was in a recent vlog too below that we have the um Sweet Mayhem Star, Star Starship, I think that's what it's called. I got that for $9 on clearance. That's also in another vlog. Then to the right of that, we have the Resistance Troops Transporter. I got that for $60 at Canadian Tire about two or three years ago now. Um, it was a cool find, and it was retired at the time, so I just picked it up. Then to the right of that, we have five of the Gyrosphere uh, Jurassic Park set or Jurassic World set. I got those for $9 each. I used to have 16 of them, but I've since sold some of them to uh, recoup my cost for it. But that was an amazing find. I'm going to probably keep these as investments. And then we have seven sealed 20th anniversary snow speeders. I also got these for $9 last summer. Uh, that's also in another vlog, so you can go check that out. But this was one of my favorite finds ever. That was amazing that day. I found another set, which I'll show you in a minute. But that is the first part of the sealed collection, so we'll get into the second part here now. Okay, I guess we'll start up here. Um, we have a Hoth Medical Chamber from 2018, I do believe. I got that for $20. Um, not that big of savings, but I just wanted it sealed. Then we have Resistance Troops tra Transport Pod, which I got for 50% off from Toys R Us. And a Desert Skiff I got for, uh, I think, $45 shipped about two years ago off eBay. So that was a great find at the time, so I picked it off. Then down below that, we have a nice few sets. So we'll start up here in the top left. Um, we have an SNS speeder bike thing. I got that for, I think, $20, which was like 50% off, so not that bad. Then we have an Anakin's uh, 20th anniversary pod racer. I paid full MSRP for that, but I got the gift of purchase for last May the 4th. Then we have Yoda's Hut. That was a Christmas gift, so that was free. We have two Yoda's Jedi Starfighters. One of these I got for two cents, believe it or not. And the other one I just got for, uh, I think it was 40% off. So, uh, two cents, you can't beat that. 40% off, you can't really beat that either, but both great pickups. Also, let me know if you want a video on how I actually got them for two cents, because I also got these four sets for two cents. So, we'll touch on that in a minute. We got these for $14 each on clearance last summer, so that was a great pickup. We have the Action Battle Hoth Generator Attack. 
which I got 50% off off Amazon last Christmas. And we have the um, Han Solo's Land Speeder, which I got for 50% off too last year, I think with Prime Day. Then we have a Darth Vader's Transformation, which I got as a Christmas gift. And when we turn here, we have the 501st ATRT, which I got for $60, I think. Canadian that was at a local yard sale, so that was a great pickup. And we move down here, we have the Death Star Escape. I got this for Christmas last year. That was another nice uh, Christmas gift. Then we have six of this set here. Um, it's kind of hard to pull it, so I just hobbled one out from my uh, used collection. But six of those I got for nine dollars each, which was an amazing, amazing find. Then, like I said before, we have four General Grievous' combat speeders. I got these for two cents each. You cannot beat that. That is amazing. And like I said before, let me know if you want to see a video on how I got those for that. Then we have the Octu Island training set. I got that for a Christmas gift, so free. And the 2019 A-Wing from the Rise of Skywalker. I got that for 50% off off Toys R Us. Then moving down below that, we have some more odd sets. We have a Toy Story uh, for the Buzz and Bo Peeps playground set. I got that for $9 on clearance. We have the uh, Mr. Freeze Batsicle Battle. I got that for $9 also on clearance. And this is a more recent pickup. I got the 2012 Droid Escape for uh, $42 shipped Canadian. So that was a pretty good deal. Um, not that bad off eBay. Uh, 4 Plus A-Wing here. I got that for $5 on clearance. Some battle packs here. We have the First Order Specialist Battle Pack. I got all of these on 50% off. Like recently, uh, Imperial Patrol Battle Pack. The... Uh, Tatooine Battle Pack. I got that one as a Christmas gift. I got this Ninjago set for three dollars. Uh, the Samurai Mac. I couldn't pass up on that. And then we also got the Seven Six Six Seven Imperial Dropship, the original one. I got this one for fifty dollars off Bricklink this summer when I was making some orders, and I wanted it for my seal collection, so I just picked it up. Then we have the Inferno Squad Battle Pack down there. I got that for Christmas last year. Um, this battle pack is the Sis Troopers from the Rise of Skywalker. I picked that up at full price to get the gift for purchase for May the 4th. Um, we have the 2015 Imperial Transporter battle pack. I forget the exact name of it, but I got that for $22 from Bricks and Minifigs, I believe. Then we have the Elite Praetorian Guard battle pack. I got that one as a Christmas gift. And the Kylo Ren and Sith Trooper Brickhead here. I got this one for 50% off from Toys R Us, so I'm really glad with that. That is going to be a wanted set in the future, I do believe. And for 50% off, you can't beat it. Then we have the Mandalorian battle pack. I got that for uh, full price with the May the 4th promo that I talked about before. We have the 2010 Stormtrooper battle pack. I got that one for $16 shipped Canadian, so that was a great find. I got that like two years ago. And three Jedi and Clone Troopers battle packs. I got those for like 50% off each, so that getting a couple of them for an army in the future possibly was great for me. Next, we have a bunch of poly bags here. I have two of the 20th anniversary uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi poly bags. We have a First Order Stormtrooper poly bag. We have a First Order Heavy Assault Walker poly bag. The 20th anniversary uh, Stone Speeder poly bag. We have this new Boost Starfighter poly bag. I have like three of these in here, so there's another two. And I did play full price for like all of these. We had the Imperial TIE Fighter from Solo poly bag there. A uh, Kylo Ren Shuttle poly bag there. Another First Order Heavy Assault Walker poly bag. The Imperial AT Hauler poly bag. Some odd ones are like the Space Satellite poly bag and the a Sky Police Jetpack poly bag. I paid a dollar each for these, so that's why I have them. I can pass up on that. And then these are some ones I got as Christmas gifts. So we got the uh, Iron Man and Dominique poly bag, which is a great poly bag, I must say. Then we have this uh, random creator poly bag. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but uh, I got this as a gift too. Then we move down here. We have the Snoke's Throne Room and two of the 2016 Encounter on Jakku sets. I got one for $16 and one for $49 from Canadian Tire. Then we have Battle on Takodana. I got that for $45 ship Canadian from eBay, so that was a great find. The Imperial Heavy Scale Walker, which I got from $45 Canadian from Canadian. Then we have a sealed uh, ATSD Raider from the Mandalorian. Uh, great investment set in my opinion, and I got that for 50% off from Toys R Us, so I'm very pleased with it. Here we have a Moloch's Land Speeder. I got this for $30 Canadian, I think. It wasn't that big of savings, but I wanted it for my ship collection. And then we have the Bespin Duel, the 40th anniversary, uh, newly released set. I got that for retail. Uh, I have that in the past vlog if you want to go check that out. And the 2006 TIE Interceptor, one of my favorite sets in my collection. And I got it for an amazing price, 39 Canadian. 
That was amazing. I got that off of eBay. Then we move up here. We got some micro fighters. So I have a uh, first order TIE fighter micro fighter. I got that for five. And then we have three of the series five Millennium Falcon micro fighters. Uh, as you can see there. And then we have a Lego Movie 2 set. I got that for five dollars too. And an ATDP, which I got as a Christmas gift uh, like two years ago or something. We have the Persona Speeder Chase back there, which I got for 50% off off Toys R Us. And we also have a Republic Assault Ship and Coruscant from 2013, which I got for $20 Canadian from Bricks and Minifigs. Then we have our last sets of the collection video here. We have the uh, Dress World Dilophorus and on the Loose set. Um, got that for $5 last summer. And two of these Harry Potter's Expecto Patronum sets for $5 each. I also got them. Then we have the TIE Fighter Attack, which I got for $9 from Walmart and Clarence not too long ago. And three big available minifigs here. We got Chert, Mue, or whatever his name is, uh, Ray, and a Finn. So I got the Finn for $8, the Ray for 9 and the Chert for 12 I think. Then on top here, we have two um, really weird pickups for me, but I got a great deal on them, so I couldn't pass up. I actually have this in a vlog. So I got the Party Time for $5 and the Powerpuff Girls Bubbles Playground Showdown for $5 from Eevee Games. Um, they had a couple of these, but I didn't really want a couple of these. I just wanted one to keep. Next, we have an Imperial Dropship Battle Pack sealed here. Um, just got that for, I think, $10 off, so 50% off. Not too bad. Then we have Escape Pod versus Dubac Micro Fighter. I also got that one for 50% off on Amazon, so that was a nice pickup. Then we have Ezra Speeder Bike from 2015. Uh, this set's after going up a lot in value, but I got it from bricks and minifigs for $40 Canadian, so that wasn't too bad. Then we get to our final sets here. We have the dual on Starkiller base, which I got for 50% off on Toys R Us, and this newer, um, I forget the name of the set now, but I also got it for 50% off off Toys R Us. And then our last two uh, sets of the video here are promos. We have the Battle and Endor from Force Friday last year. Yeah, Force Friday, I got that as a gift for purchase, and the Death Star 2 Battle, which I got for a gift for purchase. So that is the video guys. Um, I hope you all did enjoy. I hope it wasn't too boring or anything. I hope I could just, you know, get through it good and you guys are still entertained. But if you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button, like I always say, and subscribe to the channel also does help a lot. And with all that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.